ones who gave me a definition of love are the ones who are blinded by lust. I was told that love is sacrifice. So I sacrifice everything at the altar of compliments. I was made to believe in what is not, so the vision of who I am became distorted. So whenever I look at the mirror, all I can see is a dark-skinned girl. Too dark for the world to see, so how can I look like a God that even the blind can see? I felt less me. I felt I wasn't pretty and fashionable enough for the world to I subscribe to the world's fashion and use scintilla to conceal my ugliness. Oh, maybe they would love me more. And in exchange for compliments, I wore clothes a little bit exposed just to show the world what I've got. I had the pressure to be pretty. Too many times I sacrificed everything at the altar of compliments. Because I was immersed in a culture which says girls are nothing more than what their bodies are. But you don't need the stage to love me. No matter the place, your heart will be true. And when I'm afraid that I am not good enough and I don't know what to do. In spite of mistakes, you want me. Rid me of shame and give me your truth. And when I'm afraid that I am not good enough, I will keep my eyes on your truth. I don't have to perform for you. My mom once told me to set standards for myself as a lady, but I trade with that words of wisdom. So I allowed men use my heart as a chessboard to check if I was their queen and they checkmate on me. I was only a pawn in their game. I was served breakfast that I could eat only at lunch. A boy for him, my face wasn't pretty enough the way he preferred. So I cooked my body into a buffet pie that he could cut into samples and take a slice of what he liked. Is it forever? Is it for rice? Is it for beans or dodo? So I became terrified to unravel my heart before men. Because society has taught me that relationship has an expiry date. So whenever I look at the mirror, all I can see is the broken pieces of my imperfection. My body has become a junkyard of misinterpreted intention. My body has become a graveyard of dry bones in need of revival. Please revive me again. But you don't need a stage to love me. No matter the place, your heart will be true. And when I'm afraid that I am not good enough and I don't know what to do. In spite of mistakes, you want me. Rid me of shame and give me a truth. And when I'm afraid that I am not good enough, I will keep my eyes on you. Truth is, I don't have to perform for you. Yes, his love has revived me again. He kissed my scars and absorbed my bad pills. His love had made me glow again. He healed me with his love so I wouldn't be a woman of love. My heart is rebuilt with his love and baptized with the tie of his fire. So if I tell you loving him makes me forget how much I hated myself is not poetry. He says, yes, it is true. I'm head over heels and heels over head for you. His disorder love has held the test of time. Every walk, every place. If my maker is so in love with me to the extent of dying in my state, then tell me what kind of love am I looking for again? He says, come. You don't need heels to be perfect because I left the 99 to come look for you on the hill. You don't need makeup because the cross was the makeup for your imperfection. You don't need to dress up because you can come. I love you despite. I love you perfectly. You don't need lashes because I took lashes for your sake. So to understand love, who must look to the lens of the one who is love, God. Mm, you don't need the stage to love me. 
No matter the place, your heart will be true. And when I'm afraid that I am not good enough and I don't know what to do. In spite of mistakes, you want me. You rid me of shame and give me a truth. And when I'm afraid that I am not good enough, I will keep my eyes on you. The truth is, I don't have to perform for you. I don't have to perform for you. I don't have to perform for you. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to perform for him. Truth is, I don't have to perform for you.